Hi guys, I'm Andy from Vertigo Sound and I came over to the guys from Brainworks today to give you a small presentation and a quick start uh, how to use the new VSM3 software and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I want to start this video uh, with the overview with all parameters and uh, new features of the VSM3 software. Here you see the surface of the VSM3 software version. In the first field here you have a input section with an input monitoring and if you look at the analog unit it's a hardwire bypass. So here it's a bypass. The next field is the even harmonic generator. You find all controls you need to control distortion or coloration. You have a drive. You can select if you grab the signal from the mid side or stereo. You have an input filter. So you can say for example I want the side signal and only the high mids go into the circuit. You can blend it with the original signal. You have a shape filter. Uh, shape means it's just a high cut filtering the output of the generator. So you, you can get rid of higher distortion products and the sound doesn't get too nasty. And if you set up all this, you can put in the high mid band, for example here, with a new level. The two LEDs here, the left one shows you the original RMS level and the right one shows you the new level you put in, in the high mid band, for example, here. Some extra thing is the knee. You can put it to soft or hard. Normally for individual instruments, I would choose the soft option. For mastering or more aggressive effects, you can set it on hard. You find all those controls on the third harmonic Cena Blender 2. It works just the same, but you produce odd harmonics. What you don't find in the analog hardware unit is this switch. You can put the unit in parallel, so that means the two coloration circuits are not daisy chained. They are working in parallel and are mixed together via this pot here in the middle. The parallel mode is more like an expert mode. Um, normally I would start processing in serial mode, which makes things a lot of easier. Like in the hardware, you find a monitoring switch, which gives you control to solo S or M. The LED flashes so you don't forget to put it back on off. What's new with the software version is the solo mode for second and third harmonics. So you can listen directly to the generators. At the end of the signal chain you find two output controls which you can link. It might be necessary if you push the level a little bit too much to lower the level so you can compare it on equal loudness. Now let's go to a practical part and I want to show you some examples what you can do with the new VSM3 software. This example shows uh, the VSM3 software on drums to make them sound a little bit more vintage, punchier or make them cut through the mix a little bit more.
We put the plugin on a loop, trying to change the character of the loop in a quite massive way. The next one shows the VSM3 on a snare drum. Now we put the VSM3 software on a DI bass guitar. I tried to make the DI bass guitar sound a little bit more live and amped. The last audio example is a mastering situation. The track is already mastered, but um, I think it really shows quite good what you can do with it.
Thanks for watching uh, the video and uh, I hope you have fun with the VSM3 plugin.